is up youtube family thank you guys for tuning back in to will burn reactions my name is chad if you are new to this channel go ahead and subscribe i promise you you will not be disappointed hit that thumbs up if you like this video also notification buttons on at all times i do release videos throughout the day today we are headed back into some lee michaels somebody said you need to get back into some lee michaels and i heard you i did hear you and the song we're going into is heidi hi before i dive in first and foremost i want to thank my new subscribers for coming over supporting me on my channel and my subscribers that's been here but if you are new while the music is playing i do wait to the absolute very end to give you my honest detailed breakdown of the full song let's dive in and see what else lee is gonna do because this man whew, phenomenal <laughs> Please. 
Oh, I love every bit of uh, this uh, song. Man, I want to talk about the keyboard of this, man. The keys sound so phenomenal. And this is another instrument, you know, on this side of the world of, like I said, I was in the jazz world being brought up in my life, you know, hearing these type of stuff. But now that I've come out and got so much exposure to the rock and roll world and all these legends that you guys have uh, introduced me to, and then I hear these instruments being played in other styles of music, it just warms my little soul. And to know that, like I keep saying this, but to know that there's so many musicians out there at an elite level that play and that I did not know about. I'm listening to Lee Michaels and I'm listening to those keys, man. And that that is just phenomenal playing. And then it's little stuff like this in music that I, I like to point out. You know, you got little things like the tambourine in the background. It sounds like you got a cowbell going on in the background. It's little stuff like that that just makes a song sound great. And it, it's little stuff that you add in a song that just sound great. And it's I think music has gotten away from little things like that. The harmonica, the simple you know, tambourine, the cowbell. It's just certain little instruments out there in the world that is not being used in today's music. Like, it's just obsolete. Like, and, and instruments in general sometimes is just getting taken out of music. You know, everything's trying to go electronic. And you get real full sounds like this when you have the full band. And uh, when I was listening to this also, going into his lyrics, I know he was talking about being high and being stoned. But there was some, you know, parts of this song, you know, that really stuck out to me when he was saying, you know, he said, you know, you're going to, he said, uh, let me pull it back up. Um, he said, in a dark closet is a place to trip, get you stoned. You think you're going to flip, don't be afraid. If you're alone, that's how you start it. That's how you're going to go. It's certain little things like that, man. It just I, I've been catching on a lot of lyrics lately and a lot of songs and there's little phrases here and there that I just catch on to that really, you know, mean a lot. You know, that little line right there just, just means so much because sometimes, yeah, we do, you know. Don't be afraid. If you're all alone, that's how you start it. That's how you're going to go. It's it, You can take it how you want. And I always say you can interpret lyrics how you want to take it and, and apply it to your life or apply it to something you may be going through right now. So I like to do that a lot with music. Apply it to life, what I'm going through, if the song is about something like that. you know. And then I like this up-tempo of this song, too. Like It sets a melody of an up-tempo, happy, great music song. And I said this phrase before, and I had a conversation with one of you guys about it. You know, it's just great music. It's just, it's just you take it back to that. There's no better saying than that. It was just back then. It was just great music. These artists made just great music. They didn't, they didn't overdo it. Didn't apply. Let the pressure of whatever was going on out there. You know, these major companies out here just running these artists to the ground and having the hit. These guys made music, and that's why I respect them so much. But an excellent song. I loved it. I loved it, man. I'm definitely adding this to my playlist. Definitely an uplifting song. So I like it. Let me know what you guys thought if this is your first time hearing it. Also, if you have, what was your first experience of hearing this? And let me know what you thought. But thank you guys for tuning back in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.